Back in September, our Suzanne Lemignol told you about a youth football coach shot while trying to shield his players on the field. 281 miles away, a man in Detroit was watching television, and that led to a life-changing discovery. Here's Suzanne with the incredible way a Chicago man met the son he didn't know he had decades later. It's a story you'll see only on two. Last September, William Deshaun Motley was at work cutting hair at Exquisite Cuts Barbershop here in Detroit, Michigan. He looked up and saw a news report I did about Carl Cadillac Lindsay, a Chicago coach shot in the wrist while shielding 30 children on his Little League football team from gunfire on the field. And my baby boy, Caleb, right in his arms as the bullet hit him. As he watched the story, he thought, Wow. He stood up in front of all them kids and took a, took a bullet. I was a hero. What William didn't know was that hero was his father. Yeah, that was crazy that I didn't know. I cracked a joke. I said he looked like somebody. <laughs> Come to find out he looked like me. You see, Carl lived in Detroit as a teen. He dated William's mother, Helena. When Carl was 18, he moved to Chicago, never knowing Helena was pregnant with William. Helena died in 2011. Before she died, she told a relative the name of William's father. Shortly after the story aired, Carl's cousin in Michigan saw it. He contacted Carl, telling him about his long lost son. When he told me that, I'm like, what? The cousin told William his father had been on TV, and William made the connection. Now I know him, so, you know, that's, that's a lot taken, taken off my shoulders. I missed out on the like his first steps and his first words. He know who I am now. As Carl slowly recovers from his injury, he and his son William talk and text each day. I'm glad God let everything happen for a reason, and I'm glad I'm still here so he can see his father and give us a hug. Carl says he can't wait to meet his son in person and his four grandchildren and great grandson too. Happy that I found him. You know, we found each other. So. Well, Carl has three other sons, and William has connected by phone with two of his adult brothers. One has lived in Lansing, listen to this, 81 miles from Detroit for the past 18 years. They live that close to each other. The goal now is to have a really big family reunion, hopefully by Christmas. Live in the newsroom, Suzanne Lemonyo, CBS 2 News. Rob, that Erica. That is amazing. All those generations now together at a holiday. That would be wonderful yeah, to see. Yeah, no kidding. And <laughs> man, they are a spitting image of one another, aren't they? Completely. It's <laughs> unbelievable. There's no denying they're related. No denying right. It. Thank right. you, Suzanne.